A former Clark County school teacher sentenced for inappropriate behavior still has his teaching license and doesn't have to register as a sex offender. So police found that the teacher touched several female students, even told one he'd help her get a better grade. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Pagaro joining us in the newsroom with the details on this case. Joshua. Brian Brady avoided jail time on charges that he groped several girls. Instead, he was sentenced to probation for a year, which sparked a lawsuit from his victims criticizing him and the district. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Rich Townsend, Brian Brady, is present on custody. This is video I obtained through a public records request of Brian Brady in district court. With the court's permission today, Mr. Brady is going to be pleading guilty by way of Alfred to unlawful contact with a minor gross misdemeanor. In an Alfred plea, he believes there's a likelihood of being convicted, but doesn't admit to committing the crime. Brady was a teacher at John C. Fremont Middle School at the time of his arrest on October of 2022 on five counts of unlawful contact with students. A Clark County School Police report shows three students in November of 2021 reported Brady to CCSD for touching them. In one incident, Brady grabbed the girl's thigh and asked her if she wanted to raise her grade. You understand this is a conditional plea whereby if the court refuses to accept the terms of the negotiation, either side may withdraw the, uh, the negotiation. Yes, sir. But the court didn't refuse his plea. A few months later in August of last year, he received a suspended sentence of 364 days in jail and one year of probation, which requires he stay a thousand feet away from anywhere with a child, including a school. But after that, there's an agreement between you and the state that if you successfully complete uh, probation, receive an honorable discharge, and you comply with all of the conditions as stated on page one and two, items one through five. Only then would you be eligible to withdraw your plea of guilt to the gross misdemeanor, unlawful contact with a child, and receive the benefit of the drop down to a dismissal. I tried obtaining a copy of the video and transcript of his August sentencing, but was denied due to the court sealing it. On the Nevada Department of Education's website, he still has an active teaching license. The attorney who filed the lawsuit on behalf of the students declined commenting. Brian Brady hung up on me when I called him. This afternoon, I reached out to the Clark County District Attorney's Office asking them about Brady's plea. They have yet to respond, and once they do, I'll update, I'll update the story. Back to you in the studio. All right, we can also tell you that Joshua reached out to the Nevada Department of Education on why Brady still has an active teaching license. They haven't responded. Brady hasn't worked for CCSD since the start of the school year.